Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and tonight is taco night in our household. And I've got some, I didn't feel like making uh, the corn tortillas directly from uh, rain corn. I'm going through that whole process, which I usually reserve just for really special occasions. So I'm using instead the masa mix, which is really quick. Masa, a little bit of salt, mix it up, and you get uh, something that just sticks together and you can put your handprint in it, but it's not all that, not all really sticky. Now I've got the tortilla press that uh, you can make at home. And this is really one of the keys to avoiding the frustration I found. I had one of those cheap ones that I got at a roadside stand a bunch of years ago and I ended up breaking it. Um, simply because I was trying to get too thin of a tortilla out of something that wasn't designed for it. As you can see with this one, pretty beefy, you're not going to break it, or you'd have to be a gorilla to do that. So press it down, you get a nice thin tortilla, cast iron is heated up, and you can see how nicely that peels off the plastic. So we'll toss this on, and I'll show you what we get there. Okay, so we got the tortilla. And you can see already it's uh, starting to lift up. Again, don't uh, don't season this cast iron. Keep one piece in your house that you don't season. Otherwise, it'll smoke like crazy. We've got this on medium high temperature. So we'll let it start to dry out. It'll puff up a little bit. We'll flip it over. Now the real key to this is having a good tortilla press. That removes a lot of the frustration in the process. And for those uh, directions, you can go to the link below in the show notes and uh, go to the EnduringTechnologyPress.com website where we've got a book that will guide you step by step through all the tricks and hints to building one for yourself. Yeah, even if you aren't familiar with uh, tools, uh, we'll put that within your reach and it's a really easy, great project to do. Thanks.